Hi everyone, welcome to the Unit 3 Mastery Project. For this mastery, you will be creating an infographic that you would use for a hypothetical lesson for the content and grade level you wish to teach. Or you can create an infographic on the teaching profession in general. It's totally your choice. For example, you could create an infographic on World War II, geology, special education laws, or literacy levels in your home state. This infographic will serve as a learning artifact which represents your mastery of utilizing the crap design principles, desktop publishing skills, charting data and effectively presenting data sets visually, image editing, cropping, and all the other module concepts you learned in this unit. What is an infographic, you may be asking yourselves? Simply put, an infographic is a visual image, such as a chart or diagram, used to represent information and data in creative ways. Here are a few examples, both educational and commercial. Why are you doing this project? Well-designed infographics can help teachers simplify complicated subject material or visually express otherwise boring info and data. Data shows that high-quality infographics are 30 times more likely to be read than text articles. Student engagement is a precious thing, and being comfortable creating infographics is a great skill to add to your teacher tool belt. On the flip side, consider giving your students infographic creation projects to demonstrate their learning. Once students are done, you can use these infographics to decorate your classroom. Here are some tips for creating high-quality infographics. Start with a catchy title. A catchy title is what will likely draw your viewer in. Avoid white backgrounds and don't include too much text. Use graphics, charts, and visually stimulating elements instead. Most importantly, follow the rubric. To get full points, make sure that you follow the rubric located above and make sure to adhere to all crap design principles and include at least four infographic elements. What am I looking for in your infographic? This image has callouts demonstrating the different elements I am looking for. First and foremost, your infographic must be well designed, aesthetically pleasing, and be factual, clear, and coherent. Make sure you adhere to each of the crap principles you read about in your textbook. Make sure to include at least four of the following. An edited picture, a chart, a graphic, layering, and text. Masking is optional. Creativity and visually engaging designs will earn full points. For this project, I highly recommend you use PictoChart. It's a free online design tool with pre-built infographic templates. Although the templates are a few pages long, you only need to have one page. Simply delete the other pages in the template when you're done. Be sure to check out the tutorial below and remember to view all the student work examples at the very bottom of the page. After reading all the material, viewing the rubric, viewing the tutorials, as always, if you have any further questions, please let your professors know.